Welcome to another Joy Pro tutorial. Today we are talking about refreshing your DCS ID database and how th what that means for mod support. There's basically two reasons why you would want to refresh your DCS database or your DCS input database. One is there came a new plane and the inputs are not there. The second reason would be they updated the inputs for the aircraft and so they might have a different ID now and so you need to refresh it that way or you installed a mod aircraft and want to have support for that. However, for specific airplanes, if you just want to update specific airplanes, then I show you in the end like a second method, which is a bit faster, but also a bit less automated, but also is, takes a shorter time. But let's start now. First, we have to select the DCS instance, which is for me the DCS Open Beta. Then we click on Settings. We have to make sure that the DCS install path is right, that it's the right build that we want to mean more like want to get the data from. If, if that's right, then we click on refresh DCS ID database. It will ask us that it will take like five to ten minutes and we should not push the mouse or click anything on the keyboard in the meantime, as it will trigger like an automatic macro clicking for us onto things in DCS. We hit yes and it's asked us what, whether it's in the main menu. As it's not in the main menu yet, we don't click anything yet. So now it's in the menu and I click on yes and then it starts the macro. As you can see, the mouse is now jumping around and making a couple of inputs for us. Basically, it makes sure that the list on the top left there is now on the most top left and then it goes from each item down and clicks on the make HTML button. With that, it basically outputs all the available commands for each of the top left aircraft there. And that way, Joypro knows like all the existing commands of DCS. As there is sadly no command line command for putting those HTMLs out, there is sadly no way around this type of macro. I spoke to a couple of mod developers and modders in, in DCS on the official Discord, but all of them came back to me with either no answer or they said it's not possible to trigger that it make HTML via command line. And uh, I don't plan yet to hack the binaries of DCS directly to, to make something like that happen. So uh, yeah, that's why it works the way it does right now. So yeah, let's just wait and get a cup of coffee in the meantime, or get a tea or a Coke or a really nice beer in the meantime.
Now, since we reached the end of the list, it will try to go a couple more times down, but at some point it will close in the game and post-process the data that it just extracted. Once it's done, you will get a pop-up message telling you, hey, it's done and you can restart Joy Pro. However, we will wait at this stage and I will give you some further explanation. Okay, now so it closed, it starts the post-processing now, and now it's done. For mod planes, you also kind of need to know, or like Tripro needs to know, what are the default keybinds in that mod aircraft. And for that, you also need to make a refresh of your clean database. However, here it's really important, before you do that, you need to back up your inputs before if they mean anything to you, or if you haven't done anything with Tripro before. If you have every of your input in Tripro, then no problem, you can just export it later, but if you have anything just done in DCS, also keyboard commands, back up your data now before doing the further steps. I cannot make any more <laughs> emphasis on that. If you've done that, then we click on Refresh DCS Clean Database. It will warn us that all of our configs will be lost, which I just explained to you before. Please back up everything before doing this step. If you've done everything and backed up your inputs, if they mean anything to you, then press yes. Now it's going to ask us if we are in the main menu again, and if we are in the main menu, we just press yes. Okay, now it's the main menu, and I press yes. So we see now it basically clears all, all key commands out, saves that, waits, gives the game like 30%, 30 seconds time, so it can clean all the planes safely, and then it closes the game. Once it closes the game, it post-processes again. Okay, it's done. So if you restart Tripro now, you will have an updated DCS input database and a clean database. If you want to do a more fast method, um, I will show it to you now. However, for the last method, if you've done that, please uncheck the import locals from instance. Since we are have now everything processed like the proper way, you don't need to import locals from instance anymore. However, if, if you're planning to do only the second part I'm explaining you now, the second way of importing like planes which you maybe just up, want to update, or just mod planes that you want to in, then you might want to have this checked. So let's start the game and um, I will explain you further steps. So let's start DCS open beta. Why is it not starting? For that we can also close Tripro. Now it's finally starting. We go in the we need to go for that also in the instance of Tripro at some point. So we I go I quickly navigate into like the files or the binaries which have just started Joy Pro, which are here, like that's how it, you, it should look like for you. And um, yeah.
So we are in the main menu and we go into the options. And let's say basically first we create like the clean database. Let's call, let's say like for instance, the F14 pilot, that would be basically a mod plane for us. So we click on clear all and just select the F14 pilot as we just assume this would be a mod plane. We press yes, press okay, so it saves. Then we open the file explorer, go to in our save games path in DCS open beta, into our config, input, and then we go into the F14 a or like f14 not the rio as we just did the pilot uh, go into joystick and then we have to select one of the dot diff dot lua files like basically we just select the largest one and for that uh, i'm just taking because they should be all kind of the same go into here basically copy everything we open basically the file in notepad then you copy everything you go into your JPro folder again, in your, in your clean profile database, DCS, and here's the clean.cf file, which you open, add it with notepad, and you search for F-14 as it stands here. The plane name must be exactly like it stands in the URI in, for the save game. So let's quickly press Control F to search for F-14. And here we see it. It always needs to start with that amount of uh, hashtags and then the plane name exactly as it is written in here. As here is already kind of the clean profile, we basically take what we copied before, mark what was there before, and control paste what with like the new clean profile, and then press control save. Now we have basically updated our clean profile for the F14. If it would be a new plane which wouldn't be here, we just add like this these many routes or like hashtags with the exact name as it stands here in this input line with which, which is f-40 for this one or whatever it is in the other sense so that are just like how to make a clean profile now we also need the entire database of the mod aircraft that you have installed so for that you go into options again then go in here click into the 14 again and click on make html so to give you some or to give you some more context now this file lays in in your save games this is open beta and then in input layouts txt and then f14 again what joy pro does let's go quickly into the joy pro folder again which is here just let's quickly start joy pro again we go into uh, settings and this checkbox import locals from instance means it would imp like load load the locals from this import layouts or txt for like txt folder um, we don't really need that if we drag out now the html file into the native tripro folder the advantage of that is that you have the key commands of the mod also available in other dcs instances and it kind of is a bit prettier because you can easily just then delete the input layouts folder so let's just grab like one of the largest, but don't grab the keyboard one or the mouse one or tracker R one. Let's just grab like the VJoy one. We have to rename that exactly as the folder name, which is F-14. Oh, we have to close the game before, otherwise, otherwise it will not re uh, let us rename it. As you see, I try again, and now it's able to be renamed. Then we copy the file, the F-14 file, Go into the Joy Pro folder again. Go into DB, DCS, and paste it into the DB, DCS folder where it's already an F14 file, but we replace it with the new keybinds. If we do it that way, then we don't need to have the checkbox on the settings checked. Otherwise, we import it twice, and maybe you see, like in the search in the add relation, then everything twice when you don't need to. And it would be then just better than to just uncheck that and close it. Okay, this was a very long video, but thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.